So it's our neighbor's 50th birthday. And last year we were all in COVID lockdown. So it's very exciting to be able to celebrate together with the neighborhood. My son harvested these uh, beautiful rabbits for me. And I'm gonna pop them in these ca the camp oven tonight. Uh, lots of friends are gonna come over later and join us in the birthday celebration. What I love about a camp oven is you can just use any vegetables you have on hand. Um, of course, beautiful garlic and onion is important. I've got a, a pepper here and some carrots. And I'm just going to go over here and grab a couple of uh, herbs. Bear, why are you in here? Bit of sage here. I love some rosemary. Just adds a little bit of flavor. So I start with a good oil, chuck some garlic in there. I'll leave the herbs pretty big because it's going to sort of end up in a stew. So they disintegrate. And you can choose at this point, when everything's fried up, to deglaze it with either a German Pilsner maybe, or a red wine, or um, whatever flavor you're aiming for. I got a bit of a clunky but sturdy red. Do you sit? Apparently you do. Definitely plonk. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna um, cut these rabbits a little smaller and oh for a sharp knife. Give them a bit of a sear and then I'm gonna add a pile of broth in there and put the lid on. Our wild meat is just so lean and flavorful, absolutely organic. And my sons are such good shots that they keep my freezer full. Give them a bit of a sear in here. And you could go smaller if you like, but I've got a lot of guys coming tonight and they like to actually find the meat. So I'm gonna let these guys Kind of get a bit of a braise in here while I add a few more vegetables. And then I'm going to put some uh, broth on there and just put the lid on that everything's in there. It's almost time to light the candles, hey? I love nothing more on a Friday evening than getting a fire going, popping some food on, having some people over. Making them feel loved.
my save is it for you? Uh, no. Alright. See you, buddy. Love you. Love you, too. I'm a complete pyromaniac. I love messing around with fires. My boys call me one match mama. <laughs> We're expecting the whole kibbutz, you know? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people are coming. <laughs> you know how it is, people just turn up. <laughs> Especially when you're cooking. Yeah. It's got a really good bubble on right now, and everything's tenderizing beautifully. One of the things I, I love about Chris is, like my father, he's really taught our sons to hunt and kill animals in a respectful manner and use every part of the meat that we need. And one of the gifts of living on Australia has been to raise our sons on the land and feed them off it. And so my boys never get anything that we're not going to use for food. And it's a great gift to be able to have boys that bring the food home and uh, we can enjoy it with our neighbors and I'm going to pop the lid back on and just let that have a happy marriage in there. We are all for happy marriage. <laughs> mm. Normally I would uh, have this on for a couple of hours and the meat would be falling off the bones, but I'm a little rushed for time tonight. So I'm taking out the pieces now that they're tender and just cutting them into smaller bite-sized pieces and putting them back in the pot. And you can see the meat is starting to get super tender. The broth is reducing. Feeling good about it? Yeah, it's gonna be yum. Moment of truth, eh? This is rabbit. So. Yeah. There's a little bit of back strap. You can smell the sage and sage and onion. Sage and onion. Steeped in sage and onion. Is that a good enough piece of meat? I don't know what you'll need to eat it with. About a spoon and a yeah, probably fork and knife. Fork and knife and a spoon. Have a go. And there's like bread to soften up with. Might find a dark corner. But if you add, you could add a potato. that red wine in there. Mm. And a bit more sauce. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, look at It was a wonderful birthday celebration, and if I'd had more time, I would have allowed the rabbit to cook a lot longer. But as it was, it was tasty, delicious, and best of all, the friends gathered around this campfire were wonderful, and it was a special evening.